there, sixth grade. All right, so today we're going to be drawing polygons in the coordinate plane. And we're also going to be calculating area of these poly polygons that we draw. So um, hang on tight. Uh, there's, this is going to be a lot of, a lot of work. Um, it's not difficult, uh, like yesterday's wasn't difficult, but it's a little bit tedious where you have to pay attention to the ordered pairs very carefully. And some of the polygons are going to be more difficult to um, find the area of. Um, so for one through four on the lesson, the, the classwork, one through four, we're going to plot those figures on one coordinate plane. And I've already got them done here, but you're going to have to go through and do them yourself. So I would appreciate if you would do that by pausing the video um, and take the time to plot the points on the coordinate plane yourself. And then once you've plotted the points and drawn the figures, then um, you can restart the video and I'll go through with you how we calculate the area for each of these figures. But please, you guys go ahead and plot the points yourself. I need to see a picture of this work and you need to practice on plotting these points, okay? Okay, so hopefully you did as I asked you and you've drawn these figures. You should have a right triangle here for exercise one. You should have this um, equilateral triangle here or acute triangle here um, for number two. Number three was a quadrilateral, this blue quadrilateral, and number four was a pentagon. So let's go through. The first one's very easy to calculate the area for because it is a right triangle. So that's the first thing that we need to to do is write down, um, it says name the shape. So this is a right triangle. And we're gonna use our area formula for triangles, which is one half times the base times the height. Well, you can see that the base is five and the height is also five. So the area of that would be half of 25, which is 12 and a half square units. Pretty straightforward. Okay, the next one um, is, I need to keep my diagram up here so I can talk about it. It's very, very tricky, okay? There's no way to get the base and the height from our diagram. So we can't, so in other words, uh, it, it's difficult to find the altitude of, of this triangle because none of the lines intersect the side length, a side length at a right angle. So we're gonna take a different approach rather than using the formula for the triangle. We're, we're gonna draw this square around it, okay? That's what the orange is. It's a square that just surrounds this triangle. And you see what it does is it um, cuts, it cuts that, um, the area enclosed by the square is made up into four triangles. Here's the first triangle, second triangle, third triangle, and the fourth triangle is that center, and that's what we're looking for the area of. So our approach for this problem is gonna to be to find the area of the whole square, which is side times side, and this side length is one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is also one, two, three, four, five, six. So the area of that whole square is 36 square units. And now what we have to do is find the area of all three of these triangles and subtract those areas from the 36. And that will leave the area of the original triangle that we have to find the area. After we subtract out triangle, the area of triangle one, two, and three, what's left over, it will be this pink region, which is the area of the triangle that we're asked for, okay? So, 
first triangle, they're all right triangles too. One, two, and three are all right triangles. So they're going to be really straightforward. So it's one, two, three is the base. One, two, three, four, five, six is the height. So <clears throat> the area of triangle um, one is half of six times three, which is nine square units, okay? The area of the second triangle, it looks like the base is three, one, two, three, four, five, but the height of this one is only five. So the area of triangle two is one half five times three, which is half of 15, which is seven and a half square units. And then finally, the area of the third triangle is one times six uh, and half of that, which would be three. So, um, and the, oh, the best name for this polygon is an acute triangle. Um, so now we have to write an expression to help us get the area. So the area of the square we know is 36, and we need to subtract off triangle one, triangle two, and triangle three. And if you do that, your area will be 16.5 square units. So you have to be pretty flexible in your thinking, maybe even a little creative with some of these, because um, we only have certain skills now Later on, uh, you'll know how to find the area of this triangle. But right now, I think the most straightforward way is to think of that square that is um, surrounds our pink triangle, and then just calculate the three areas of the three right triangles and subtract it off, okay? Number three is a quadrilateral. How do I know it's a quadrilateral? Because it has one, two, three, four sides. It's an irregular shape, right? But it's still a quadrilateral. The best way to find the area of this shape would be to think, cut it up into two, and that's what that orange line is right there, to two triangles. So I've got, uh, where's my green pen? I've got triangle one and triangle two, this little tiny triangle down here, okay? So triangle one, um, here's the height. You can see it right there on the, on, it's one of the grid lines, okay? And the base of that triangle is one, two, three, four, five, six. So the area of triangle one is going to be one half six times three, which is nine square units. And then now we have to take a a close look at the area of this small triangle. If this is the base, we're going to have to go outside of the triangle to find um, the altitude. The altitude will be, um, it has to be measured at a right angle, remember? So sometimes you have to extend one of your side lengths beyond the actual triangle until you get that altitude or that height. So I did that here, and you can see that the height of this little triangle is two units, and the base is also two units. So the area of that is going to be, huh, let me pause for a second. For some reason, I'm getting myself confused. So I'm back. I'm unconfused now. <laughs> Uh, yay, yay. All right, so we're doing number three, and we just found the um, area of that larger acute triangle. So it was six by three, half of that would be nine, 
Now we're trying to find the area of this little tiny triangle. Well, this is two by two, base is two, height is two, as I explained earlier. And so the area of triangle two would be one half base times height, both being two. So that would be two. So the area of the quadrilateral, you just add those up together and it would be 11 square units, okay? Now, number four, hopefully you have it all plotted, uh, is a pentagon, okay? Did we write down that number three was a quadrilateral? Make sure you are getting the names of these shapes. This is a pentagon because it has five sides. All right, maybe that's a little review, maybe that's a new word for you. But a, a polygon that has five sides is called a pentagon. So it's going to take, again, a little creativity, flexibility, vision, play around with it. I saw, if you drew, drew this line here that connected these two corners, you would have a triangle that we call that triangle one. And then if you go straight down from here, you end up with two congruent right triangles. That's pretty easy to find the um, area of. And then this last square, the area of that would be four by four, which is 16. So that's what we're gonna do for the Pentagon. We're gonna break it up into four shapes, a square, two right triangles, and this uh, acute, or that's an obtuse triangle. Okay, so the area of, the square is easy. Area of the square is, we said four by four, 16 square units. The area of the right triangle, I'll just say triangle one or uh, two, two and three are gonna be the same. So we have to add that twice, is going to be um, two by one, two, three, four. So the base is two, the height is four. So it'll be one half times two times four, which is um, four. And I'll just write it again. So then that's the area of triangle three. Same thing, because we have two of them. Okay, and then the last one is the area of triangle one. So uh, luckily we can see the height intersects at the right angle here, which is one of the grid lines. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The base is eight, the height is two. So we do one half eight times two, and that area is eight. So the area of the full pentagon is gonna be 16 plus four plus four, can't see, plus eight. Okay, and you will see that that is 32 square units or units squared. Okay, all right, so that was, I, I mean, I think it's kind of fun and it's like a little puzzle that you're trying to solve. Um, the, let's move on to the rest of the lesson now. Um, this is an interesting problem, uh, number five. It says two of the coordinates, of a rectangle, and they're talking about the corners, are A37, all right, so I've already plotted it. This is um, A, point A here, and B, 3, 2. So here's 3, 7, here's 3, 2. Now, the rectangle has an area of 30 square units. Give the possible locations of the other two vertices by identifying their coordinates. Use the coordinate plane to draw and track your answer. Okay, so if the rectangle has 30 square units, uh, I know that this side length is one, two, three, four, five. That means this side length has to be six. And that's how I found this point here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be six long, that would be five long, and that would give me a rectangle that has an area of 30 square units. So my two points 
are nine, seven, and nine, two. I found two points. But is that the only answer that's possible? And hopefully you can see, no, it's not. Because you could go in the other direction. And so that's what I did here, where I've got the same side length, AB, but it could be like that. So I counted six over, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's how I got the ordered pair negative three, seven, okay? This one was negative three, seven, and this one is um, negative three, two. I wrote that wrong when I did it earlier, didn't I? Negative three, two, okay? Negative three, two. So there are two answers to this problem, and that's what you want to be on the lookout for um, when it says possible locations, plural. So it, it wants you to find all the possible locations. Um, and there you go. Okay, and for a rectangle, that would be the, those would be the only two answers. Okay, now in the exercises here, they're going to give you um, a coordinate plane here. I have also added, if you've noticed, under your resources on our on our classwork page, I uploaded this larger coordinate plane that you can print out at home if you want to. I sometimes like to work on a larger coordinate plane. I just find it easier. So um, it's up to you. But what you're gonna do is you're going to plot these uh, shapes on the coordinate plane, and then you're going to calculate the area for them, okay? Um, I'll pause the video now and let you go ahead and plot the shapes and then I'll come back and help you calculate the area. Sixth grade, now we're ready for exercises one and two, which I asked you to plot those on another coordinate plane and I did too. And so we, we're tasked now with finding the area of these shapes. So for number one, what shape would you, would you name this shape? Now don't look at the orange. The orange is what I did after I plotted the shape to help me find the area. But um, hopefully you can see that the original shape, A, B, C, D, E, F, has six sides. So this is a hexagon. So number one is a hexagon, okay? And the way we're gonna find the area is similar to one of the ones we did earlier where we're going to draw a rectangle around the shape and then find the area of these right triangles and subtract them out of the area of the rectangle. And then we'll be left with the area of the hexagon. We'll be left with this inside portion, which is what we're asked to find the area of. Okay, there's other ways you could do this, but I looked at it and I just thought, well, that looks simple enough. Right triangles, it's easy to find the area of. And so, and then of course a rectangle is super easy to find the area of. So if you count the side lengths of the rectangle, you see that that's an eight by nine rectangle. And then I've gone through and counted and determine the base and the height of each of the right triangles. So the area of the rectangle is 72. The area of triangle one is 
triangles two and three are the same. They're both four, and triangle four had an area of five. So what you do is you take the area of the rectangle, which is 72, and you subtract out the area of all one, two, three, four of those triangles, and you'll get 51 and a half square units. Okay. Um, the next one is a triangle. That was easy enough to name. And because it's not a right triangle and it's on this um, grid like this, I thought it would be, since we don't know the, the height of it, in other words, okay? So we can just make a rectangle around the edges of it and then find the area of that whole rectangle and subtract out these three right, right triangles. So that's, that's what I did. The area of the rectangle here was seven by 13. Those are the dimensions. And so the area is 91 square units. And then here's where I calculated the area of each of those right triangles. Triangle one was a seven by seven. This one right here is seven by seven, just 49. Half of 49 is 24 and a half. The next triangle was a six by five, half of 30 is 15. The next triangle was a two by 13, half of that is 13. So now I just do the same thing. Start with the rectangle, subtract off the areas of the three right triangles, and you get 38 and a half square units. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Um, you guys, this is just another problem like, uh, which number was it? What, number five from the example, and you don't have to do the challenge, okay? But that was quite a lot of work, and I hope that you guys did it all and weren't lazy, because I cannot tell you how good it will be for you later on. Um, we're building skills that are gonna help us in high school, okay, and in, algebra, in well, eighth grade math. Um, and seventh grade math going forward. So, all right, uh, come to office hours if you're confused. Take care.